Welcome. In this film, we'll examine some common causes of traumatic injuries in occupational and agricultural settings. Illustrated transcripts of this film are available on Kansas State University's GenAg 712 course website and through a link provided on our YouTube channel. On-the-job injuries and illnesses have a profound impact in many American workplaces. On average, about a million employees lose work days each year from job-related incidents. While the numbers do appear to be declining, about one out of every hundred U.S. workers still suffer lost time injuries each year. Some on-the-job incidents have more severe consequences. Every year in the U.S., about 5,000 workers are killed as they perform their duties. Risks are higher in certain industries. For instance, the industry known as agriculture, forestry, fishing, and hunting employs only about 1% of the U.S. workforce but it accounts for 12% of all work-related deaths. Other hazardous industries include mining, transportation, warehousing, and construction. Besides the human tragedy, workplace injuries and deaths create a serious financial burden on the economy. According to the National Safety Council, the annual direct and indirect costs amounted to almost $170 billion in the U.S. in 2009. GenAg 712 explores traumatic injuries and their prevention in workplaces. As defined by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, traumatic injuries include broken bones, spinal cord injuries, cuts, bruises, muscle strains, amputations, burns, and many other conditions that happen suddenly during a single work shift. A related course at K-State, GenAg 711, examines work-related illnesses, which include diseases as well as disorders that develop over time. Examples include many forms of hearing loss, respiratory disease, circulatory disorders, cancer, infectious diseases, repetitive motion disorders, and certain skin conditions. The practice of work-related injury prevention is known as occupational safety, while the prevention of workplace illnesses is called occupational health or industrial hygiene. The vast majority of workplace incidents are classified as traumatic injuries. In fact, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics regards 93% of lost time cases as injuries and just 7% as illnesses. Traumatic work injuries are caused by a variety of hazards. Many serious incidents involve equipment, such as vehicles, machines, and tools. Events such as falls and violent assaults are other common causes. Although some of these categories are not mutually exclusive, they do account for the majority of work-related deaths and many non-fatal injuries. A wide range of hazards contributes to other traumatic incidents. We'll consider a few that are especially relevant in agriculture and related industries, namely electricity, fires, explosions, and engulfment in flowing materials such as grain. Let's begin by considering injuries involving equipment such as vehicles, machines, and tools. Vehicles account for many workplace injuries, including more than 40% of workplace deaths and almost 10% of non-fatal incidents. 
machinery accounts for a smaller but still substantial number of deaths and injuries on the job. The same can be said for handheld tools. Taken together, vehicles, machinery, and tools are involved in 53% of all workplace deaths and 22% of non-fatal injuries. Let's consider some examples of vehicles, machinery, and tools that may be involved in workplace incidents. Workplace vehicles include cars, pickups, tractor trailer rigs, and dump trucks. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics definition of vehicles also includes forklifts, agricultural tractors, all-terrain vehicles or ATVs, and others. The related category of machinery includes both mobile and stationary equipment. Examples of mobile machines include cranes, earth moving equipment, skid steer loaders, riding mowers, push mowers, and agricultural combines, to name a few. Stationary machines include devices such as printing and paper folding machinery, industrial mixers, stationary grinders, and stationary saws. The Bureau of Labor Statistics definition of tools includes handheld equipment such as chainsaws, portable belt sanders, and circular saws. Together, vehicles, machinery, and tools are sources of injuries in many workplaces. Another important category of hazards consists of events that lead to falls. Slips, trips, and falls are responsible for 14% of workplace deaths and 24% of non-fatal injuries. The most serious incidents tend to occur when workers fall from heights, such as roofs, stairs, ladders, scaffolds, and other structures including grain bins and silos. Same level falls also account for many injuries although they tend to be less severe. Same level falls may happen when workers trip over clutter and rugged walking surfaces, same level falls may also happen when workers slip 
on surfaces that are slick. The next major category of hazards we'll consider consists of events that lead to assaults and violent acts. Although we may think of assaults as being perpetrated solely by people, the Bureau of Labor Statistics definition also includes injuries caused by animals. Assaults by people and animals account for 15% of all work-related deaths and 2% of the non-fatal injuries that are reported. Assaults can happen in any setting, but they seem to be more common where workers exchange money with the public, interact with unstable people, or work late at night, especially alone and in areas with high crime rates. Assaults by animals often involve cattle, horses, and dogs. The hazards we've considered to this point account for the majority of work-related deaths and many non-fatal injuries. Other workplace incidents are caused by a wide variety of hazards. We'll consider electricity, fires, explosions, and engulfment in flowing materials. Let's begin with electricity. Contact with electric current is responsible for about 4% of workplace deaths, but less than 1% of non-fatal incidents. Many electrocutions occur when workers contact power lines, either directly or indirectly, through equipment, ladders, and tools. Other electrocutions involve permanent wiring in buildings and farm structures. Workers can also be electrocuted while installing or maintaining heating and cooling equipment and when using stationary industrial machinery. As other examples, shocks and electrocutions may occur when workers use tools such as welding equipment and electric drills. Extension cords have also been involved in a number of workplace electrocutions. Finally, special electrical fixtures and equipment are required to avoid electrocution in wet locations. Our next category of hazards includes fires and explosions. Overall, fires and explosions cause about 3% of workplace deaths and less than 1% of non-fatal injuries. However, certain workplaces are at much higher risk. For instance, fires and explosions are more common where workers handle flammable liquids such as fuels and solvents. Fires and explosions also tend to occur where workers handle materials that generate combustible dusts, such as grain, flour, feed, and sugar. There is also an elevated risk of fire where hot work takes place, including torch cutting and welding. The final category of hazards that we'll consider is engulfment in flowing materials such as grain. Although engulfment is rare in most industries, it is an important hazard where grain is handled on farms and at grain storage facilities. 
For instance, workers and children must stay out of trucks while grain is being unloaded. Otherwise, they risk being swept down and suffocated in the flow. In bins and other grain storage facilities, workers can be swept under and killed when grain is unloaded from the bottom or as air pockets collapse within the material. Let's briefly review what we've covered in this film. Each year in the U.S., about 5,000 workers are killed and about a million suffer lost time injuries due to hazards on the job. Besides the human tragedy, workplace injuries cost the economy billions of dollars each year. The highest risks occur in certain industries such as agriculture, mining, transportation, and construction. Over half of all workplace deaths and nearly a quarter of non-fatal injuries occur when workers are operating equipment such as vehicles, machinery, and tools. About one out of seven deaths and one out of four non-fatal injuries are caused by falls. Falls from heights may result in severe injuries and death. Same level falls are more likely to cause non-life-threatening injuries. Assaults and violence comprise another substantial hazard accounting for about one out of seven workplace deaths. Assaults include attacks from people and injuries caused by animals. A variety of other hazards account for the remainder of workplace injuries. Some that are important in agriculture include electricity, fires and explosions, and engulfment in flowing materials such as grain. This has been a brief overview of traumatic injuries in workplaces. Other films in this series explore hazards in more detail along with preventive measures.